Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Buenos Aires vlog. We are starting the vlog off here at another cafe, but we actually came to this place to eat dinner last night. Last night I got a burger, it was so good. And we love the place so much that we decided to come back for breakfast this morning. I got my usual cafe con leche with two media lunas. Michael got his usual the submarino with two media lunas jamoni queso. I'm really excited. The meal last night was really good. So I'm hoping breakfast is equally as good. to go into the planetarium right now but the thing is that we don't have tickets and i think we needed to buy the tickets online but the problem was that we've tried to go online to buy the tickets but the site wasn't working so i'm hoping that we can buy the tickets to the planetarium in person if not i don't even know how i'm supposed to get the tickets if the site online isn't working so we'll have to see hopefully we get in let's find out So we couldn't go to the planetarium today because it was sold out and we couldn't get tickets until tomorrow at 3 p.m. So we just decided that we weren't going to go, we weren't going to try, we'll go back a different day. And instead of going there, of course we decided to come here to the Japanese garden and it is so pretty here. There is so much sunlight, the weather is beautiful and there's so many like beautiful pink flowers all around. We're finally going into springtime which makes all of this that much better and it's so peaceful and calm here and I think it does a good job at representing Japanese culture like the architecture for me is like spot on and a lot of people here are just like happy taking photos and we're just taking a break right now because we have been walking for like three hours and our legs are tired but honestly this is such a nice place if you haven't been to Buenos Aires or if you live in Buenos Aires and you haven't been to the Japanese garden you gotta go it was like 700 pesos to get in and there's no time limit which is amazing there's also a restaurant too which we almost went into but the prices were a little bit expensive and when I mean a little bit expensive like the main appetizers were like 8,000 to 10,000 pesos per plate so we're gonna eat something after here probably gonna get pasta because pasta sounds just delicious right now. I really like it here. I don't know if it's the time of year or if they plant their flowers like this, but everything's blooming. There was a part upstairs where they had like masks. So they had a lot of masks like handmade from, you know, just popular shows and stuff like that. I thought that was the coolest part so far, but we're only halfway through.
I really love the food culture here in Buenos Aires because I really love the fact that I can go out to a restaurant and ask for when I want the check. Like I think to me that is like the best part about the food culture here in Buenos Aires is the fact that no one is rushing you. There's no like pressure to feel like you have to eat your food quickly and like hurry out of the restaurant. Like I just love that feeling of being able to go into a restaurant. I do it like every single day when I go to a cafe and like I'm reading. No one's annoying me and no one's asking me to leave. No one's handing me a check and no one's making me feel pressured like I have to eat or I have to drink my coffee really quickly and I have to get out of the restaurant. There's so many times where I think I spend a lot of time in the restaurant like me and Michael eating and talking and chatting and all that stuff but there are people and if you're watching and you live in Buenos Aires or you live in Argentina you're probably one of them who can like spend like two hours at a restaurant which I don't think is a problem at all. Like I love that. I love that people can go out like in a family or friend group setting and just like hang out for like so long. I love that so much. I appreciate that so much. In the US, I feel that when I go to a restaurant, everything is so rushed. Someone's handing you the check, like there's this pressure to eat quickly and get out of the restaurant so that way someone who's waiting outside can like come in and I love that there's no pressure here and I love that everything is so calm. You can go in, eat your food at your own pace, and leave whenever you want. I love that. Also, you may be wondering, why is there tape on the headboard? And it's because Polka just needed an extra layer of protection to not scratch the headboard. So she actually went on the headboard and was about to scratch and we caught her with it. And so we decided to put on tape. So that way she went on one time and she was like, well, I do not like how this is feeling and now she hasn't gone on the headboard yet to scratch so if you have a cat I'm just saying you may want to put tape on something because they hate that feeling on their paws and for us it's been a really good lifesaver y'all do not need to see my closet Closet. Okay. We did get a little bit of a haul and we had the best pasta I've had in a really long time But like I'm such a snack girly like I always need a snack in the house at all time And Michael and I are probably gonna binge watch this Netflix show tonight It's called the ultimatum and we are such big Netflix reality show fans So we needed something to eat while we watch it and of course we had to get some agua con gas because My stomach's gonna need it Point blank, period. We also got these uvas with chocolate, which I'm really, really, really excited about. Like, I love these so much. And then Michael got these. They're like wafers. And I got these. I'm hoping that these are going to feel like a healthier version of cookies because they're not Chips Ahoy. There's not Oreos. So we'll see. I literally have to taste test these right now. I know they're just calling my name and I just have to try them. They literally just drop on the floor. Wow. Not even exaggerating, like, these are really good. <laughs> It's 4.55 right now and we left the house I think at like 11 this morning. I had to wake up early and I had to go to work but last night I did go to another language exchange thing and every single time I go I'm just feeling more and more excited but we got back a little bit late last night but I really love the conversations I had last night and this one in particular was just so funny to me because I was telling this group of people that I wanted to go to Mar del Plata and a lot of you have recommended that I go to Mar del Plata as well and so I was really excited. They were like, what plans do you have? I'm like, I want to go to Mar del Plata. I want to hang out. I want to go to the beach. And literally, literally, they were like, Mar del Plata? Why? No, don't go there. And I was like, wait, hold on, what? Because every time I go on the subway, there's always like this nice poster advertising Mar del Plata. I see so many good things about it. And this was the first time someone was like, do not go to Mar del Plata. And I was like, wait, why? Because I want to go to the beach when it gets warm out. And he said, and I don't know if this is true. So if this is true or if this is false, I really, really, really need one of you to let me know in the comments down below. Should I go to Mar del Plata or not? But he said Mar del Plata is like super crowded, which is what I expected it to be. And I'm coming from New York, so I'm used to Jersey Shore and I'm used to like really crowded beaches. So that's not like a huge problem for me. But he also said that in Mar del Plata, the coast is like very like mountainy hilly. And so normally when you walk on a coast, you could just walk without any problem and it's not hilly it's just all flat and easy to walk on but Mar del Plata apparently has like hills and he recommended me like three or so other places and I don't even remember because I forgot to write them down but I'll see him next week 
that I should go to. So I don't know, like I was really excited to go to Mar del Plata and that was the first time like these three people were like, you can't go there. Literally go to like any other beach. And I'm like, Ooh. so I don't know. It's gonna get warm soon and me and Michael are trying to decide a place that we wanna go to because with Max and Polka, we wanna make sure that we're bringing them and we would like to stay at the place for two weeks minimum, maybe a month. So if you have any good beach recommendations in Buenos Aires that hopefully we could take the train to, that would be ideal for us. We don't really want to take a plane just because for Max and Polka, it's a lot getting them on the plane and like they have a lot of flight anxiety and us too. We have a lot of flight anxiety like bringing them on the plane because we're just always scared like someone's gonna tell us no you can't bring them on so if you have any recommendations please let me know because i want to go to the beach and unfortunately my apartment does not have a pool in it so i need help <laughs>